hello good evening all today in this session we will be discussing about how to inherit or how to customize an existing pdf report in odoo so currently here i am with odoo 15 community edition and this solution can be applied across all the odoo versions like 14 13 odoo 12 etc and even it can be used with odoo enterprise edition as well as odoo online so the thing that we will be doing is from the user interface not from the code everything we will be doing from the front end using the debug method so what i'll do is that i'll go to the sales application so here we have sales and we have got around 17 sale orders in Udo. so if i open any of the record at the top of the print here you can see in the top of the form we have the print button so if i click on print you have quotation and order and if i click on that system will get us a pdf report so if i open it contains the information regarding that sale order so let's see how we can add a new details or new field value to this existing report so recently what i have done is i have added a new field to the sales order model that is to sale order model here we have a field confirmed user which hold the value of who confirmed this sale order from quotation to sale order so let's see how we can add this value to this report in Odoo so what I'll do is that I'll navigate to settings so I'll keep this screen over here and let me duplicate the tab and I'll go to settings Make sure that you have activated the developer mode in your database go to technical and if you scroll down you will see a menu called report so here we have reports open and search for quotation and here you can see we have got a report quotation slash order which we are printing over here so if i open that you can verify that model is sale.order and report type is pdf and here you can see we have got a button called qf views so if you are not familiar with what is pdf report and what is qf views so in view so here it is just a data of report the information like its paper format which type etc the report is actually designed as a view so if you click on this button we will see the list of views that constitute for this report so here we have a main template and other templates are inherited or called from the main template so if i open main template you can see from this template we are calling report sale order document that is this one and inside this the design is created so if you check here you can see invoicing and shipping address order or quotation everything that comes from this report is designed from here and there is couple of views which is coming from other modules like sales stock etc so we are not going to edit any of existing records and that is not a recommended way so you may think we can directly click on edit button and make necessary change here but that is not a recommended way so here you can see in blue as a notification as an alert Odo added be aware that editing the architecture of a standard view is not advised since the changes will be overwritten during the future module updates we recommend applying modification to standard view through inherited view or customization with Odoo Studio so currently the second option is not possible for us even the solution can be applied like everyone is not subscribed to use Odoo Studio so we will be using through inherited views so let's start by creating an inherited view so if you check here we already have got some samples which is inherited this report is inherited in sales stock module as well as sale management module so simply i'll open this sample and i'll click on duplicate so simply i have taken a duplicated record and let's see how we can start so let me adjust the architecture so we will keep only very basic thing and we will start from here so first of all when we creating a new view so here you can see we are adding a record to ir.ui view give a name so i'll give name as report sale order inherit i'll just name it as report sale order inherit and the view type should be qweb website is empty then if you need you can give the key or for now i'll keep it empty 
and what we have sequence i'll give 16 itself and we are inheriting this view report sale order document i'll come to it and view inheritance mod is extension view so if it is a new view which is not inheriting any other view we can make it as base view but we are inheriting an existing report so we'll give as extension view click on save so invalid cube view should have a key so i think this is mandatory so i'll give the key as the same report sale order inherit i'll give the key as same click on save so we have successfully created a view so if i come back here currently if you go back to that main report click on q web views you have got six record and here we have the lastly created record report sale order inherit so the main thing that you have to remember is that you have to get once you create a new view the name should be here you can see the template name is sale dot report sale order so you have to copy this name after the dot you have to copy this name and the inherited view should start with that syntax inherited view should start with the same syntax as we have here in the template name of ir actions report so simply copy these and go to the qf views and where is the newly created record inherit where is that inherit yeah we have here report sale order inherit and you have to name it as report sale order inherit it must start with report sale order inherit like this you can give so if you don't give like this on clicking this button there is no other issue if you don't click if you let me show that if i give the name as om inherit that is odoo mates inherit if i give the view name as odoo mates inherit on clicking this queue of views it will not show here you can see right now we have only five and the inherited view is not listed over here but if you go to the main record report sale order document so this is the record we have inherited if you check the inherited view you will see that so i'll copy this and i will change its name to report sale order inherit itself and you save click on save and if you come back to the cube views you will see that record report sale order document inherit so i hope you understood what we have given here view name view type qf view you have to give a key inherited view so we are inheriting this view if you come here this is the main view so you have to just copy its name view sale order document copy and then come to the inherited view we have inherited view here search for that view here then you will be getting search more and if you search for that view you will see report sale order inside sales module sales dot report sale order document so we are inheriting that one so in order to confirm simply you can click on that then you can see its architecture so we have done with the main section now what we have to do we have to add the architecture what we have to apply from this inherited view so we have to start the syntax as follow as a header you can add as a first line you can add xml version 1.0 so this is the static syntax then inside data we have to specify which template we are inheriting that you have to specify inherit id i'll give its external id so if i click on this you can see its external id is sale dot report sale order document sale dot report sale order document you have to specify inherit id you can get it from here external id so i have specified that then you have to xpath so using xpath we can change inside the template so if i open the report here we have the report so what i am looking to do is that after salesperson so here we have salesperson after salesperson as an another section i need to get the value of confirm user so here i'll add confirm the user as a label and to below that i will show the selected value so we have to find the correct x path now so if i go to the original template so if i go to the original template which we are inheriting and if i search for salesperson 
yeah you can see salesperson is added as follows so if you search i need to add after salesperson so salesperson is added to the report from here so if you check here we have to create an x path so this is coming inside a div with id information so let me start my x path so let me duplicate this tab and i'll keep it here from here i can navigate back as the breadcrumb still exists so if i go to the newly created record we have to inherit or we have to add a new value inside this div so i'll give the x path as div at id because here we have id div at id informations so i'll copy that div at id information then where we have to add at the last position inside this div because this is the main div and we are using xpath we reached here then at the last position i need to add so what i'll do is that div at id information div last i'll give like this div what last so at last command you can see i'm specifying div of last so div of last will get me this div because inside that the last div is this and i am giving position after so after last div inside this div with id information i need to add a section so as a sample i'll copy this div of salesperson copy and simply you can add it over here so click on enter and i will add it here and let me just adjust the indentation yep so here we have to add the thing so what i will check i'll go back to the sale order and let me verify its field name so if i place the mouse over here i can see the field name is confirmed user id so i'll check doc so you can see doc is actually a variable of sale dot order because you can see they call doc dot date order that means it's a record set of sale order so what i'll do doc dot confirmed user id confirmed user id so i'll check whether there is a confirmed user id inside this doc then i'll add a label confirmed user confirmed user c is missing i'll enter so as a span with bold strong confirmed user then which field we have to print we have to print doc dot confirmed user id so p field will print the value of this field so here just i have as a label i have added confirmed user and using t field attribute i'm printing the value of confirmed user id and i'll click on save oops the entire thing is wrong i have simply edited the original file let me shift that so sorry for that i just noted it now so i have to copy this Control c and i have to put it over here and i have to move this to here so right now i think everything is okay and back to as it is so wrongly i have changed as i have opened in two tabs so i have kept the original file as it is i didn't change make any change so you can just confirm it by compare and reset yeah there is some mistake and i'll reset to hard reset reset view so the original will be revert back to how it was now if i compare there is something wrong still confirm let me check edit and if i go to that section of sales person i hope everything is safe to back as it was you can see doctor user id name here and in the inherited view we have added doc dot yeah let me remove this from here we have doc dot confirmed user id over here let me adjust the indentation so everything fine and we have added 
it now let's try to print the sale order report again so i'll go to the sales and here we have confirmed the user as mitchell admin let's click on quotation bar order and if i open the report you can see confirmed user is getting printed in the report so to confirm it is coming from here itself i'll just inactivate the inherited view and if you try to print again there is no confirmed user and if i activate it and if i print confirm if i print quotation you can see confirmed user is coming in the report so let me take an another record where we don't have confirmed user so here we have confirmed user and here we don't have confirmed user so let me try to print and we will not have that section so that will be printed only if we have value in doc dot confirmed user id because here we are using t if condition so this will be added only if is satisfied so i hope you understood how to inherit an existing view from ui and this can be applied in all the Udo versions and in Udo enterprise if you don't have access to Udo studio and in Udo online so i think you have understood if you have any doubts don't hesitate to share with us directly add a comment below and we will be replying you as soon as possible so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you